What's up everyone, how are you doing and welcome back to another video. I know I've been gone for quite a while, but there's two reasons that uh, that happened. The first reason is that I finally branded the channel. Now it's going to be Developer Philip, and hopefully it's going to make the experience for you guys watching the channel uh, much more, you know, pleasing and better. So uh, I really hope you guys enjoy that one. Now the second announcement I want to make, and some of you may have heard of this, is that I've been working on creating a shop. And in this shop, I'm just going to have one product for now, and it's going to be a resume template. Now, this template is going to come with a, a full extensive guide, like a visual guide, for you guys to be able to really nail down everything you need in your resume when you go to apply for these top jobs that you guys dream of. Now, I've put in a lot of time and experience, so hopefully all of that information in the template is going to be extremely relevant. Now, I'm also giving you guys another option in the shop to purchase the resume template with the visual guide and feedback from myself. So once you go ahead and buy the template and you fill it out, you can send it back to me and I'll take time to review it and to really give you guys feedback, extensive feedback on what I think you did right, maybe things you can improve, is there anything else that you might add to add value to that resume. But now onto this video. In today's video I've got some amazing CSS generators that I want to show you guys uh, and review them. So we're going to look at five different ones and hopefully they're going to really spice up your websites. So one important thing I want to mention about CS generators, and it's a concept that many people sometimes forget, is one, yes, they're there to generate the code for us, which is extremely handy, but also they allow us to visualize, visualize uh, the things that we're going to put on our page. It allows a really quick refactoring of code uh, to be able to see the differences and to know that whatever we copy and put on our website is going to reflect exactly what we imagined in our head in the first place. So those are the uses of CSS generators. And now the first one that I want to share with you guys today is a CSS underline generator. Now, I think when you're designing a website and you want to accentuate certain things, I think it's quite nice to place an underline. And this just makes it quite nice for you to visualize what it might look like in a specific context. Now, underlines can be a bit uh, hard to visualize, so this is just a perfect tool to uh, allow you guys to do that. Now, here we are given an underline width that we can just drag, and it's either a, a bigger underline or a smaller. I'm just going to use something that I think looks good. And then we have the underline alpha, which is the opacity of the underline. And here we can just change the color, and I'm going to go for something like aqua, like this. And I kind of like that, so all we can do here is just copy the code, and that's it. You can just paste it on your page, and you're all good to go with some fancy underlining. Now, the next generator I want to share with you guys today is a glass morphism generator. Now, glass morphism is quite trendy this year, and it's trendy because it gives you kind of an effect wherever you're looking through stained glass. It gives you that effect where the background comes through, but it seems like it's slightly frosted. This generator actually allows you to visualize this quite well with a lot of different variations. So actually below here, they give you a lot of like sign-in card or a product card, which I think is quite nice, or a pricing card. I'm going to stick with the pricing card. And then you can select the background type. You can either add your own image or you can select a mesh gradient or a solid background. Now, I think I like this mesh gradient and then it allows you to change the colors of it as well. So maybe we'll add a little bit of blue. Awesome. So here you can go ahead and select the card color. You can either make it very blue. I kind of like this darker and how the green and blue comes through. Then you can adjust the blur value of this. You can either have a very blurry or not blurry at all. Now you can't really see this here because of this mesh gradient, but then we can adjust the opacity of this, whether you want it coming from more or less. And then the saturation, more colors or more black and white. Now, once you're done with that, all you have to do is just, of course, copy the code and you can expect the same effect on your website. Now this next generator I think is absolutely awesome because handling animations in CSS can be quite difficult sometimes, especially to visualize, especially to, you might have a visualization of your head or you might not, and this will actually allow you to create that animation. So here you have so many different options. You can transform, 3D transform, change the colors, change the sizing and spacing, positioning, add borders, you know, whatever you like, the options are endless. Uh, now I'm going to go very simple and I'm just going to play around with the transform uh, tools just to show you guys how it actually works. 
But all you have to do is you just go down to here and you add a step and then you pick a timing on the timeline. Now I'm not sure if this is in seconds or in milliseconds, uh, but I'll say 15, whatever the uh, value of the 15 is. Now I'm going to say that at this time interval, I want to rotate the little ghost, which they give you by 90 degrees. And that obviously instantly shows you what is actually happening. Then I'm going to add another step and I'm going to uh, at 30, whatever seconds or milliseconds, uh, I'm going to change the scale to like five. I'm going to make it super big. Then at the next step, I'm going to introduce two different things. I'm going to skew it by like 60 degrees. <laughs> and then I'm going to translate it by like 100 pixels down. So it almost falls out of the screen. Uh, now the next thing I want to do is just add another step somewhere else. And I'll skew it back to zero and I'll move it up by minus 50 pixels. So it's going to go above. And then I'm going to rotate it by 270 degrees. And I'm also going to scale it down. And then towards the end, I'm going to add another step and I'm just going to return everything to normal. So zero degrees here. I believe the scaling was like 1.5 and then the translation was zero. Once you're done, right? All you have to do is just press play and it just animates that and because I ended at the same uh, positioning that we started at we get this endless kind of flip of the animation now you want to have something like this on your website you just stop it you go to the get.css and you just copy this to clipboard of course they give you very generic like IDs that you'll have to change to the element that you're going to be targeting but all that functionality for the keyframes is there which I think is awesome so uh, this is a really, really nice visual guide of how to animate things. And I think for a lot of you, this will be extremely useful to use on your websites or your personal portfolios to really make it look very, very bougie and spicy and however nice you want to make it. Now on to the fourth CSS generator. Uh, it's uh, called newmorphism.io. And it's basically about the concept of newmorphism. Now, if you haven't heard of this, it also is quite a trendy uh, subject this year, especially when it comes to UI and UX design. With newmorphism, it's kind of this effect where something is poking out or kind of caved in. And the way I like to describe it, it might seem a bit weird to you, but if it's like, if you held up a huge piece of rubber and then you like try to forcefully poke something through the rubber, but it wouldn't break, it will like punch out. And this is kind of the effect that we get here. Now with this CSS generator, I think it's very cool because first of all, it allows you to change the lighting, change the lighting to different aspects. So uh, you could really make things look very, very realistic on your website. Here you can change the color to whatever you want it to be. Uh, and here you can change the size of this object. Now we can also adjust the radius. So let's say I want a circle. You can adjust the distance of uh, the lighting. So it might seem like it's coming in a little bit more. I'm not sure how to describe it, but you can see it visually uh, what actually is happening. We can adjust the intensity of the uh, kind of lighting shadow. And then we can adjust the blur, the blur of the shadow to make it seem like it's poking out more or not. Now, of course, with pneumorphism is this idea of uh, dealing with shapes where you have a shape that's poking out, you have a shape that's slightly caved in from the top, you have one that sticks out fully, and then you have one that goes in completely. Now, a really cool effect I saw with pneumorphism is a button made with this, and it would be poked out uh, when someone hasn't clicked it, and as soon as you click on it, it actually changes to poked in button. And I think that's a really, really cool effect. I've seen people add uh, sound effects to this, like squidging rubber. You can be as creative as you want and you can really, really make some awesome things with pneumorphism that are very uh, new and very kind of cool. And you can really stand out by using this generator to like make really cool things with it. So I highly recommend it for you guys to play around with this one and see what kind of things they can come up with. Now onto the last CSS generator. Now this one is quite a simple one, but I think a lot of you guys that uh, might want an idea for a cool background, uh, this just offers a lot of different gradients that you can use. Now you can actually go onto uh, the main page here and you have all of these different gradients and they're just endless that you can use on your website. Now, let's assume you like one of them. I quite like this X, I think it's quite cool. All you need to do here is if you just want the CSS, you can just copy the CSS. 
and that CSS you can just paste in your website and you'll get this background. You can also download this as an image, which is quite cool uh, if you want to fill a certain space or you want to kind of have a different idea of how to use it. But in general, this website offers a ton of different uh, really cool gradients that you can play around with or even use an aspect of one or partially use one because they provide you all that CSS for the background. Now, I really hope you guys find these CSS generators useful. I think there are some of them are really cool and very, very useful to especially visualize what you're planning before you actually put it on your website and not have to change things over and over again to make it perfect. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you did, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some really cool new videos coming with some really awesome ideas that I have planned. Uh, so yes, if you do enjoy that, make sure you subscribe. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.